This kind of horror was the almost daily portion of some people somewhere in the 1944 Battle of London. The phase ended with the capture of flying bomb sites such as this along the Channel Coast of France. But during 80 days and nights after the Allies invaded Hitler's fortress Europe, a mighty force of anti-aircraft guns took up positions along the coast of southeast England. Plans had been prepared long beforehand. Under the GOC and C anti-aircraft command General Sir Frederick Pyle, the defense was constantly improved. And of 8,000 flying bombs launched against us, no more than 2,300 got through the defense of guns, fighter planes, and barrage balloons. A fine achievement. And in this exclusive feature, Gomon British News shows the Battle of London in progress. Our story is told mainly from the point of view of the anti-aircraft guns, who collected a great percentage of the kills. These men and women, already tried and tested by their wonderful work against the Luftwaffe, these ground gun teams were on their toes day and night. They are the men and women whom you see wearing the bow and arrow flash on the shoulder. The women are all volunteers. The speed with which these gun teams work makes every one of us feel proud. Nothing can be said of the technical genius that went into the guns themselves. That may be told after the war. But the work of the men and women of the gun sites on the flying bomb coast, you can judge for yourself. The record day's work of the three arms of air defense of Great Britain, guns, fighters and balloons, was 97 doodlebugs brought down out of a total of 101. But many of the defenders lost their lives from the bombs they brought down. defense of Great Britain fighters joined in the hunt. Southern England suffered a great ordeal during those 80 days after D-Day. But how much greater it would have been if out of those 8,000 flying bombs the guns had not destroyed 1,560. If the air crews of Fighter Command had not shot down 1,900. If the crews of the balloons had not stood by and destroyed 279. How much worse it could have been. Many families have lost their lives and many more lost everything else. But London looks much the same today as it did before. What a grand job they did for us, the personnel of air defense of Great Britain. <laughs> 